The wait was finally over. The 118th Paris-Roubaix would take place two and a half years after the 117th edition and 19 years after the last rain fell on the race. Starting in Compiègne, the 257km event would take on 30 cobbled sectors, beginning in Troisville with those three famous sectors, the Arenberg Trench, mont saint pével and the Carrefour de l'Arbre being the big headline names. 55 kilometers on the stones, the game of stones under the rain, in the mud, before that final lap and a half of the concrete velodrome to finish in Roubaix, the fourth monument of this rearranged season, having a date change to October. The rainy weather turned up for the first time in almost 20 years. Paris-Roubaix 2021, whatever happened, would go down in history, and the race would live up to all of the weight and expectation. It was worth the wait. The mud, the epic atmosphere, and the nerve since the start. After 100 kilometers of racing, we had a group of 31 riders up the road. Some riders could have been forgiven for wishing they brought their swimming trunks. That group of 31 was slowly whittled down, four up the road, with quite a few of the 60 debutants involved. Peter Sagan, a former winner of the race, would be the first big name to crash out. He'd get on back on his bike, but we wouldn't really see him involved in the action again. The crashes, I'm afraid, would continue. Part of the race, part of the problem, part of getting over the obstacles on this particular day. In the famous Arlenberg Trench, with two riders up the road, two debutants in Eichhoff and Vermeersch, behind other more experienced riders caught up in crashes, including the Belgian champion Wout van Aert. With 80 kilometers to go, Vermeersch would be caught. Eichhoff reeled in with him. Chasing behind Mathieu van der Poel with Gianni Moscon about to take the lead at the front. And Mathieu van der Poel would attack, accelerate and make yet another move to get up to the next group. He'd join up with Colbrelli and company. Vermeer still in the game here. And behind the Wat van Aert group would struggle. As Craig van Avermaet, former winner in the early breakaway, would still be involved. This crash, though, would take him out of the front group. Max Walscheid going down there. Meanwhile, at the front, out of traffic, out of danger, but riding a sterling race, Gianni Moscon looking to become the first Italian winner in 22 years. He left behind his companions who'd been up the front with him. And he was looking good with over a minute of a gap before a back wheel puncture meant that he'd need a bike change. The mechanics did a great job, a speedy change, a calm atmosphere, and Moscon was still in the running with about a 45-second gap. That was until that happened. A crash. This time, he would need a miracle. Gap down to 20 seconds and reducing. His bike still bobbling over the cobbles. On the moment, Mathieu van der Poel, Florian Vermeersch, and Sonny Colbrelli caught him. Then Colbrelli would attack. Moscon this time was unable to follow Van der Poel and Van Meers. Both fellow debutants alongside Colbrelli would. After Carrefour de l'Arbre, there were three riders remaining. The famous velodrome awaited. They come in to take the one and a half laps on the concrete. Concrete that had dried out with the wind blowing after the rain had stopped. The bell ringing and everybody looking to find a pool. Vermeersch went away and tried to attack on turn three. Van der Poel having a work to come from the outside. Colbrelli able to go through the centre. The Italian coming through. And in a year he won the Italian Championship, the European Championship. He'd also win a monument. Paris-Roubaix would be going home to Italy for the first time in 22 years. 1999, Andrea Tafi. 2021, Sonny Colbrelli. An outpouring of emotion. So much joy after all the drama, all the mud, all the exertion. This is what sport is about.
an image for the ages. It's called Brelli one. Vermeers finished second, and Mathieu van der Poel ended in third. Moscon finishing the day in fourth. A fifth place for the Koenig Quick Steps, Yves Lompart with Laporte, Van Aert, Van Aasbroek, Boivin and Hausler all rounding out a warrior-like top ten. The stone lifted by Sonny Colbrelli. Bahrain victorious, winning the race for the first time at just the fourth time of asking. Colbrelli at the first, on debut, the best, after a day that we will not forget for a long, long time. Two and a half years for the men, 125 years for the women on both occasions, on a bumper weekend, it was worth the wait.